Hello there. So today I'm back out with Betsy on a in the morning walk. It's raining, it's cloudy, it's miserable. I got up this morning, looked out the window, and I thought, let's get out. So join me shortly and we're back over the beautiful Abley Valley. Um, as I said, just on one of Betsy's dog walks and let's see if we can find some photos. So today, um, let's have a look out the window. It's raining, it's dull, there's no sunlight at all. So I thought coming into autumn, we've got nice flat light, let's get out in some woods. So with the, with the rain, all the colours are looking really saturated. I was going to bring a polarising filter, but I decided against it simply because there is no sunlight so you do get a lot of reflections on leaves which I don't mind today because I'm going to be shooting pretty much scenes like this where it just looks beautiful so peaceful so quiet just flat light it's nice it's nice and one thing I would say to you is if you look out the window one morning and you've got conditions like this get out grab your camera get out get some photographs so there's so much to choose from we have beautiful root systems like this we have Betsy being an absolute lunatic like that so yeah I'm confident we're gonna get some nice photographs may not be epic but they're gonna be nice and I'm out and I'm enjoying myself and so is Betsy so it's going to be good. First little composition. Um, just found this beautiful little fern, a little bit of bracken. Loads of orange on the floor. So I'm just going to line up a composition with this. I'm going to get quite close because I want a big foreground. Just to catch the eye before you see all the orange. Uh, the orange is a bit plain. It's not quite enough yet. The rain hasn't penetrated in here either. So it is quite dry. But yeah. I'll talk you through the back of the camera. So, nice little composition. The, the bracken leaves do look fantastic. I'm doing a, a focus stack, so I should focus on the closest bit of bracken there, on the tree, and then another one just in the distance, down there, and I should just merge these together in Photoshop. The settings for this, I'm shooting ISO 100. I am a stop underexposed, because it's quite bright down by the path, down there. Um, I've got F10 and that's giving me 0.6 of a second. Looks beautiful, it does. So, quite a nice little shot that one. Um, I do like that. Just now found, I'll just turn around and show you, a nice family of mushrooms. Look at that. Old tree stump. Old tree stump, full of mushrooms. Um, I'm going to have a look now, just to see if I can line something up here. If not, then I'll carry on round. It uh, does look a little tiny bit too low for me. Looks beautiful though, I think there could be a composition there. Let's have a look. No, the mushrooms are just blending in too much with the um, orange on the floor. I think as a macro shot, this would probably look fantastic. But what I'm out today for is um, just a few nice little landscapes, a few trees. It is quite misty, there's a bit of blue sky coming now, so I think this mist is going to be short-lived. I'm going to get up in this little bit of woody area here. Hopefully we've still got a little bit of mist in the trees. Um, it is beautiful up here. So peaceful, quiet. 
what I would say to you is um, even though we're not in full autumn yet the colours are all turning now have you a little panorama around here you can just see the oranges coming the bracken's turned the oaks are just turning the silver birch are going yellow now um, it looks beautiful we're not quite into full colour but there are still good photographs to be had and we have got that little bit of mist today so even though it's raining it's not raining much now she's baiting off a little bit um, I am still getting wet but I don't mind that some of the best photographs I've got is in bad weather so don't just look out the window and think oh the weather's bad I'm gonna stop in bed get out just get out and get some photographs um, as I say I'm on a walk with Betsy Betsy's down here she's behaving for once um, as you saw from the last video um, had a little bit of a scare with Betsy she went flying off and took quite a few hours to catch her um, she found a pheasant farm and yeah she was having a great time in there but I'm now just gonna have a little walk here I'm gonna try and get a couple of photographs in here it looks beautiful here nice flat light it's what I like because you can just then a little bit of dodge and burn just to brighten areas up and darken some of the shadows down a bit um, yeah I'm hopeful I'm gonna get something really nice there let's go and find some of it just look at these beautiful trees a couple of silver birch little oak there twisted gnarly I'm a little bit precarious in this uh, little tripod in the bench but the scene looks beautiful let me show the back of the camera I'm loving this so again I will be doing a focus stack on this um, because I want a lot of detail first shot is going to be probably this bunch of leaves here which is the closest and then I'll do the trunk there and then I'll come down to this branch which has got some beautiful peeling bark on it um, let me try and zoom in as you can see there we have beautiful bark that's peeling looks beautiful looks beautiful um, it probably will be three shots there there and there and just blend them together in Photoshop I'm loving it again the settings I may underexpose this a little bit more because it is quite bright um, ISO 100 I'm one stop underexposed at f10 and that's giving me a fifth of a second I'm tempted just to come a little bit darker and I am actually liking that just that little bit better now just highlighting the trees and I can just bring back um, the highlights and the shadows just a little bit in Photoshop looks beautiful so I'm just looking through this uh, at this image now and I do think I'm loving the dark in the background and just leaving the silver birch white um, so a little bit of dodge and burn on this and I think it will look really nice I'll put it on for you right now Oh, tell me what you think um, drop me a comment below if you like that image or not do you think I should have left the background so dark or do you think I should have brightened it up a bit um, again photography is personal choice I would say get your own style of photos for what you like and um, you will get some who don't like your images but the majority I think if it looks nice to the eye and it appeals to you then it's got to be good um, other people's opinions don't really matter um, enjoy photography for you um, which is what I do I'll come out if I like something I'll just get the image so yeah drop me a comment 
tell me your thoughts on uh, if you should go out just to get epic photos if you like this photograph drop me a comment I'm gonna keep walking Betsy is having a great time off she goes pheasant has just squawked so I'm gonna call her back in a second I love it in here it's beautiful Betsy there she is still being good at the moment so it's a blessing yeah keep looking around as well there's some some beautiful green moss on the trees here it does look fantastic so there are compositions for every mood that you're in depends on what you fancy taking on the day you can get a photograph over here and the same with most nature reserves go out get to keep in your local areas and explore nature reserves beautiful little path just look at that everything is just stunning let's keep walking there's the uh, the gnarly beech trees from last week's video if you remember that um, I'll drop a link above if you haven't seen it yet um, but these trees are beautiful it does need another couple of weeks and a bit of wind to pull the uh, leaves down the leaves are turning up there now so I think it's only literally weeks away get some heavy rain and some wind pull all these leaves down so they've got a big carpet of yellow and orange and I think it's going to look absolutely stunning so yeah let's carry on and see what else we can find another pretty little scene loving the three trees in this image and I love all the colour let me just show the back of the camera again I'm loving the, the texture between the, the light and the dark I'm loving the three trees um, it looks beautiful just a pretty little scene and I think again a little bit of dodge and burn that's all I'm going to do on this image just a little bit of dodge and burn and it should look quite nice there's Betsy if she keeps there I'll get a little quick image of her did she move? I think she moved her head I think she moved no I got her might even use this one with Betsy in the image so I'm now up on some rocks there is a big rock here can't think of the name of it but uh, we're quite high up here and as you can see it looks beautiful the sun's just starting to break through sky's clearing so I think before long it is going to get too bright in here so I don't think I've got much longer left let me just show you this just look at the texture in this rock absolutely beautiful got an oak tree just turning there I'll try and set something up quick um, I quite like this scene actually so I'm hanging off the edge of the cliff almost to get this little shot down here um, as you can probably see now the sun is just starting to break through so I'm going to move on now and uh, climb down off this rock which is going to get too bright up here I think another beautiful little scene is I'm just climbing down off the rocks just saw this and I just thought this looks beautiful this does um, it's a shame about the sky but what I can do with this I'm going to, I'm going to do a focus stack down here on that tree and on that tree and then I'm going to take another shot probably three stops underexposed I'll just underexpose it three stops for you uh, took the shot there instead and you can just see I don't know if you pick it up on the GoPro but there is just a little bit of detail in the sky I am hoping that I can just pull this little bit of detail into the sky just to 
make the sky just look that little a tiny bit nicer it is a bit too bright um, but again beautiful scene I'll put this on for you now see what you think drop me a comment if you like it As you can see, just a normal little walk, just a daily walk with the dog. That's all I'm doing today. I do bring bets over here most days. Um, if anyone local wants to come and meet Betsy, uh, most mornings I'm over Abley Valley. Uh, come and say hello. She will pester you for treats. Um, she's a pain like that. I'll have a walk down now to the little calf at the visitor centre. Have a chat with uh, my friend Stephen Wendy and get a cup of tea. Always favourite, I do like my cup of tea, as Alison says. In France, how are you dear? Hope you're doing well. So yeah, there's links down below. I've been asked a question on what camera I use for vlogging. I've got a couple, I've got a, an old Canon 600D, um, which I don't use that much. I mainly use my GoPro for vlogging. Um, it's an old GoPro. I bought it brand new years ago to use on my motorbike. And it's still going really well. So I have no need to change it. So I do love it. There are links below to all the gear that I use in the description. Check it out. Um, if you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please like and subscribe. And... It just helps the channel to grow and keeps Betsy in biscuits. She's uh, she's just off again, sniffing. She's been quite good today. I am shocked. I don't know if that little episode last week scared her or what, but she has been behaving for the last few days now. I think it may just have been a one-off. <laughs> The pheasant farm that she found was enormous. There was a load of pheasants in there. So I think they just overpowered her brain. And yeah, let's just turn you around here. Just look at this. This is this is a little wooded area where we started off. Beautiful it is. Absolutely beautiful in here. So I got a cup of tea anyway now. I'll put all the photographs on. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell, share with your friends and enjoy the photos. And until next time, take it easy.